guys, it's Teacher Mommy and today we're going to be talking about dogfish or cat sharks and they are found off the coast of Nova Scotia and all the way down to South America throughout the Atlantic. So if you like what you see in here, go ahead and subscribe to my channel below, like and leave comments and stay curious about this world. Um, if you also want to send me um, the name of your little one too, I'd love to say hello. So today we're going to say hello to Isla. Um, so what is a dogfish? So a dogfish is actually a shark. It's one of the smallest, not the smallest, but it's one of the smallest sharks out there. Um, and so a chained dogfish. So what does it look like and why does it get that name? So I'm going to show you. So this is a chained dogfish and it gets that name um, because it looks like a chain link fence and then it also has the name it's also known as a cat shark because it has cat like eyes I don't know if you can see those eyes there um, but there's also some eggs and here's some mermaids purses and I know we've talked about mermaids purses before but what's really really neat about these dogfish or the, the cat sharks is that so it's only the females that um, lay their eggs, but they wrap it around corals, and we have corals around Nova Scotia too, which is really cool. We can talk about that sometime about the cold water corals. Um, but they twist and twine in between all of the different corals and rocks until it goes around the corals themselves. So here's a mermaid's purse, and you can see these twines that come out, and that's what wraps around kind of these nurseries, or what they're called, and they're all off the coast. Um, the the Atlantic coast. So these will not be fertilized because there's no males in this pool right here. Um, so the, the female will lay these eggs in the shark nurseries and then the male will come and fertilize them. Um, now dogfish, they're really small. Like I said, they, the babies, when they're born, they're about the size of my hand. They can fit right in my hand. And then they grow up to about two feet long. Um, so probably from the tips of my fingers to my elbow is kind of as big as they'll get. So if you see him here, and there's a couple of them, so this is as big as they get and these are the females here and you can see all of their fins and everything and they live on the bottoms of the water um, especially where it's cold and so they have what's called a crushing plates and they eat a lot of mollusks and crustaceans shrimp that kind of thing because they use those crushing um, plates to crush their food and then they eat it so i hope you enjoyed what you saw today i hope you learned something new um, something to be very mindful of is make sure to pick up your garbage when you're out at the beaches um, because they tend to get entangled in a lot of marine debris and they ingest it meaning that they eat it and then it gets into their bellies and it makes them feel really yucky um, and uh, so i hope you have lots of questions please send them to me bye